on top. It's got a bunch of algae all up in its corners, but oh my goodness. That is awesome. That's definitely one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. It's so cool. Wow. Been here for five minutes. G'day everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It is a rough day out today. Let's do some rainy shelling. Let's see what we can find. We have a giant octopus here, you guys. Check out this guy. He is huge. Hello, buddy. Wow. That is awesome. Oh, you are massive. Hello. Oh my goodness. These guys are so smart. It's been so long since I've seen one. Wow, that is so awesome. <laughs> I'm speechless. It's been so long since I've seen one of these fellas. And this one is awesome colors. Wow, would you look at that. <laughs> that is so cool. Don't worry, buddy, I'm not gonna hurt you. Wow. That is so cool. <laughs> How awesome is that? I think we might let him go now. I might be scaring him. I just want to get as much footage of him as I can. I rarely ever see these guys. Wow. Alright buddy. I'll see you next time. Have an awesome day. Wow. Off he goes. <laughs> so today we are starting at the front of the beach here. I feel like there's a lot more piles around. Obviously, look at this. We got a lot of stuff in here by the looks of it. Let's see what we can find. We got a big old snake head. Awesome. I've had a lot of luck finding these recently. Got a big old uh, bonnet shell, of course. These have been really common lately. So I probably will leave that for someone else, especially it being a little bit broken. It's starting to rain pretty heavy on me right now. Wow, look at that, a tiny little checkered bonnet and yes, a clandestine. Awesome. How good's that? Nice little three in a row. That is sweet. Well, four in a row if you count the broken old bonnet. Oh. Awesome. Anything else hidden in there? I don't think so. Nice, let's keep searching down the little beach here. Sweet as. There's a good amount of little piles here. Where should we go? Let's go through here. Nobody else at the beach today. It is a Saturday uh, afternoon right now. And since it's raining, there's nobody here. So it looks like I have the whole beach to myself. Plus it's pretty low tide right now. <coughs> so that's sweet. Anything down in here? Nope, not really. Oh my goodness, that thing is huge. Wow. So we have a giant starfish. Would you look at that? That is awesome. Now I found a couple of these recently and it's never really good to touch them with your bare hands. So I'll put some sand between us and look at that. That is so incredible. My goodness, and I see a grape cowrie sitting right there. <clears throat> that is awesome. That's definitely one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. That is so cool. Oh, wow. Been here for five minutes and the first thing we see is a giant starfish. I love finding starfish. They are so cool. They are incredible. Alrighty, you guys. Alrighty, know. I think I've spotted something pretty insane. Would you look at that thing? I really hope one, it's whole, and two, that it's not empty. Look how close we are to the water right now. I'm never able to come this close and check out the size of this. Come on. Oh, it's heavy. What? Oh my goodness, that thing is massive. It's a bit rough on top. It's got a bunch of algae all up in its corners, but oh my goodness. Wow, that is enormous. Not sure if it's my biggest one ever, but it's definitely up there. <laughs> That's just incredible. Wow. Giant hairy triton shell find. That is absolutely the find of the week. 
month even. You guys have to drop a like for that one. Wow. Just incredible. And we're not even halfway through the journey. Let's keep searching you guys. That was incredible. Look at this big bonnet stuck in here. Oh, that is huge. Wow. Is it broken or? Yeah? Sure you don't want it? Thanks. That's awesome. Nice. Is that another one? Sure is. Look at that. Three bonnet shells. These are everywhere right now. Big old washout. So far at the front of the beach right now. There's an Arabian. Uh, my hands are full right now. Let me put these in my pocket. So I can hopefully grab it out. Wow. Yep. Nice. Nice little Arabian. Sweet. I was like stuck in between a rock. I found another one as well. Yeah? Yeah, okay. So good today. Yeah. Like look how far out it is right now. Would you look at that? We're at the front side of the beach again right now. And I see a Kirika. Awesome! I love finding these ones. They're always so colourful. How nice is that? I'm back on the GoPro right now because uh my phone is dead, so we're going to be using this for a little while. Look at that. Wow. Oh man, that is so sweet. How cool is that? A nice little red uh, sea bush. Wow. To find the red ones like this, it is so hard to find them compared to the big rusty black ones that we usually find. That is awesome. Check that out, hey? Nice little blue, or I guess you could say it's purple curica with a little sea bush. Red sea bush, I love it. All right, let's see what else we can find. Might have a big old hairy triton right here. Let's check it out. Oh man, that is stuck, I reckon. It's huge. Holy moly, oh, there's a critter in it. Look at the size of it. Massive, it's got one of those red crabs in it. See the inside? Huge. Don't want him to bite me. Wow, you never really see them much at the front here. That's cool. Well, see you later. Nice. here way at the front yeah missing the top but they usually are unfortunately oh but oh volu another one broken. it's broken it. too do you want it no. I don't know I'll think about it nice so much stuff at the front here, it never ever gets this low. I'd say it's basically negative low tide. So many live creatures out today, you guys. Look at this big old hairy triton. Wow, big fella. I thought this was uh, the same one as we found a couple of weeks ago where the lip was a little bit broken, but this one's lip is just 10 out of 10. Look at all that hair. Very cool. It's actually got a little sea sponge growing on him. So that's interesting. Awesome. I love finding them. They are very cool. Look at the size of it. Huge. Look at that. That is a giant octopus, you guys. Wow. You are huge. Please don't attach to me, buddy. That would scare me just a little bit. Wow. That is incredible just what I was wanting to find today. Wow, how awesome is that? Wow, I haven't seen one in so long. Alrighty, I have no idea where the octopus has gone now, but I guarantee that this Arabian cowrie was uh, one of his lunches. 
Oh, awesome. A little bit old, tiny bit broken on the end, but hey, that's an Arabian. Let's see, yeah, it's got the two octopus holes there. I guarantee this was uh, his lunch once upon a time. What's that there? What is that actually? I think it's a bonnet piece. Yeah, it is. Awesome. Arabian carry, dang it. It's got a little break there too, but that's all right. Still absolutely stoked that I was able to see that guy. That is awesome. I guarantee a lot of you guys like uh, driftwood and I've never really shown it in my channel. Uh, mainly just because I've never really had an interest in it. But I saw this piece and I knew so many of you guys would love to see it. Check it out. That is awesome. I think it's really cool. Um, I've never really collected much of it at all. Don't even think I've collected even a piece. But that one is really cool, hey? <laughs> very, very solid. <coughs> very heavy. I'd say it's about six, seven kilos. So that's very cool. I'm not gonna take it. I honestly don't have room for it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. We have something a little bit sad here. Uh, we have a starfish, second one of the day. And unfortunately he has been in a fight. That is for sure. As you can see, a couple of his arms are really scraped up. Such a shame, but I'm pretty sure. Oh my goodness, what the heck is that? What the heck? Are they red sea hairs? Anyway, uh, yeah, this guy's been in a fight, but I'm pretty sure they can actually grow back their arms. So we'll leave him right there. Oh my goodness, what the heck? What is that? I've never seen them. Usually in Australia, anything uh, bright and colorful uh, very very dangerous so I'm not sure about touching those and I'm not sure if I want to touch those that's incredible tiny red I'm gonna just call them sea hairs they're acting like sea hairs wow some incredible animals out today all right well hopefully he can uh, recover all good We'll keep heading down the beach, see what we can find. You see guys, this is the uh, tongue shells that I keep finding and keep telling you guys about. They are always so broken. It's such a shame. This one would have been so beautiful, but it has just been thrashed. Look at that. Oh man. That wouldn't even make it home in one piece. I'd love to give it to my mother, but she's probably watching this right now, but Look how broken it is. It would definitely crush in my hand. Dang. Oh well. Come back one day when you're uh, fixed up maybe. Dang. A minute of silence for this old tongue shell. Well, let's keep searching. Wow. Look at that strombus. Don't find too many of these at all, like ever. So that's definitely, oh yeah, for sure. I'd say that is definitely my best one ever. That is awesome. Look at those patterns. Wow. Definitely the best one ever. I really don't have much luck with these either, so that's really cool. All right, we're heading over to Checkered Bonnet Bay right now. We're getting pretty close. Awesome. I reckon we'll find a ton of bonnet shells there. Come for a walk with me and uh, we'll see what we can find. Just gotta walk over all this. Oh, that looks sketchy. Step down rather than slipping down. I've spotted a uh, tiny uh, live Arabian cowrie down here. Wanted to just grab it out real gently and say hello. Oh my goodness. It sure is tiny. Wow. That might be one of the smallest live ones I've ever seen. That's awesome. Tiny fella. Healthy as. Eating some lunch. Oh, that was cool. 
See, all this here is live. It's all sea sponge. That's what they like to sort of live around and eat on and all that sort of thing. We have another little live Arabian cowrie. Pretty sweet, right next to a little live uh, snakehead. Awesome. This one's really small as well. Got a nice cone shell there though. Let me grab that up. I call these uh, hazelnut cone shells, I believe. So they're pretty unique. I like this one too. It's got a nice uh, sort of spire to it. The piles just don't stop over this front side here. I love it. Recently, it's been really nice to me. See? Holy moly. They are everywhere. Alrighty, let's see what we can find in here. I spot a nice little cat cone there. Eh, it's a little bit broken. Probably leave that. We got another snakehead, pretty old as well. We got a broken moon snail. I think I might see a buried bonnet there though. Yes, I sure do. And it's whole. Awesome. How wicked is that? Let's wash him off. Get the best colors out of him. Nice. You guys know if you have been watching the most recent episodes, there's just bonnet shells everywhere. What is around here? Look at this massive pile. Oh my goodness. Even over this side as well. It is a freezing day right now. But we love the shelling, so we're out here no matter what. <laughs> that petrified wood or something i got no idea maybe a bone of some sort little triton something different that's actually tiny usually they're a lot bigger much more common than most things as well but that one's a nice size whoa lost my balance there a bit what's that super old stilitta probably the oldest stilitta i've ever seen moon shell and yes it is whole awesome all right let's keep moving down this beach we have uh, cut to the GoPro now and right next to the big old starfish there I see a really nice blue cowrie that's incredibly cool what else do we have down here Okay, I think I managed to wiggle it out enough to be able to grab it. I think I got it. There we go. It's got a bit of a crack there. And I actually see another one right there sitting, waiting. But it's got a bit of a crack on that side, but I think it's really nice still. That one has a giant hole right in the side, unfortunately. But we'll still grab it. Ah, super broken, that's a shame. I'm gonna leave it right here. Maybe a kid will like to find it and be really excited or something. So, yeah, that'll be pretty cool. Got one. See, there's another stuck broken one. Here's a big old ton piece. Dang. I've seen so many of these pieces recently. Oh, didn't mean to break it like that. this out guys right next to the giant starfish who's actually moving pretty fast we have a big old blue cowrie wow that one is beautiful I've cut to the GoPro footage for a couple of minutes got more broken bonnets got a uh, checkered bonnet broken there stuck in a rock but this one looks okay Oh my goodness, how do they get so stuck? Especially being cold, it hurts your hands. Wow, nice one. Beauty. Really didn't expect that one to be whole, considering it was so stuck. But that's fantastic. What else is around? Let's take a walk through here. Hmm. 
check this out guys look at that yes it's been so long since i've found one nice a little great carry in fact this isn't so little this is definitely one of the biggest ones i've seen in quite a while nice so i believe this one is called like its scientific name or its latin name it, name is called a cyprae staphylae pretty sweet it's beautiful honestly look at those little dots i love them this is definitely one of my favorite shells to find wicked nice that is the best shell find of the day so far and we've only been here for about 15 minutes not even let's check out this little area here I've never really had too much luck in this little behind the scenes area. Got a blue carry there, looks pretty nice. I'm still pretty stoked about that uh, starfish. I think that I think starfish are so cool to film. Anyway, let's move on to the uh, next finds. I think we see some more shells down there. Maybe they've found some cool things. And uh, yeah, let's keep keep moving. Wait, is that Nutella? Oh my goodness. Yo, it is. Wow. That is Cyprae Nutella. Wow. Part of the Cowrie family. Cyprae Nutella. You're kidding. It's a glass bottle. That's incredible. Well, good to get that out of the ocean anyway. Oh, jeez. Nearly slipped. But uh, yeah, let's get that out of the ocean. And uh, keep searching. Cyprae Nutella with a Cyprae Staphylae. Awesome. Let's keep moving down the beach. This might be a new find to some of you guys. Look at this. This is interesting. I find these very occasionally. Uh, this is a, a bit of a sea bush, pretty much. It is a type of coral. This is actually the one of the thickest pieces I've ever seen. It comes across maybe two or three times a month. And it's very interesting super like intriguing especially when they get bigger and all this stuff here sort of just dries off because this is dead coral very strange but i don't usually take it anymore so uh yeah we'll leave it with somebody else who might find it interesting Alrighty, here is everything that we found today best find of the day definitely was this giant triton here that thing is incredible. A little bit rough on the top. A couple of holes here and there, but it is mammoth. What else did we find? My second favorite find was probably this little bit of red coral here. I love the red coral, so that is very, very, very cool. Next best find was between the curica and the grape. I would have to say the grape cowrie, honestly. That is incredible condition. Really, really nice spots, and it is a pretty big size. Got a little curica there, pretty sweet. Obviously the best moment of the day was that giant octopus, that was awesome. Got a really nice little striated cone, uh, not a striated cone, a little strombus cone right there. Really nice patterns. Couple of Arabians, a lot of, uh, we actually did find a lot of bonnet shells today, but these are the only ones that I ended up keeping because there was just so many. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. It's an awesome day.